Sometimes it makes them feel better. Sometimes they don't believe. But if you believe in those words of what you cannot do, opposed to what you can do, nine times out of ten, you do what they say you couldn't do. We reflect more on what we cannot do, what we do not have, opposed to what you can do or what you do have. I can stand here. I caught three touchdown passes. This is in college. Three touchdown passes. 21 points. The only time in my life that I can remember, I dropped one. What do you think the newspaper, that, uh, the article said? You dropped it. I dropped the ball. Because we lost. Not that I scored three times. To give us 21, I dropped the ball, and we lost. So in my mind, if I was to dwell upon that one drop pass that everybody else was focusing on, then I'd go down in the shell. Then I'd start second-guessing what I'm doing. You put more emphasis on what people say negatively than you do positive. Someone say, man, uh, 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 what's your name, sweetheart? Amanda. Mila? Amanda. Amanda. They say, Amanda, you are lovely. You are a beautiful young lady. Your hair is lovely. I just love it, and you smell good, and I love everything about you. And, and you go out, and you feel good, and you let one person, I mean, 15 people can say that. You let one person say, you, well, you're busted. You, 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 you don't look good. You're just ugly. What do we focus on? That one little thing to where your, your self-esteem. Now, now you walk by, and I know we didn't all did it. I did it. And I came out the house, and I know I'm good, good. I'm feeling good. I'm about to go to work. I'm about to go put in put in time, and I'm going to help some youth, and I'm going to do this, and, and my, my, my gear is right, and somebody say, man, you, you, that's what you're you going to wear? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> and I know him, and I know him, but I looked at myself in the mirror a couple times, and I, and I knew I was starved. I said, yeah, this one I'm going to wear. And then I find yourself going in the bathroom, and what do you mean? Is this what I'm wearing? I, I, I guess I'm a guy. Well, maybe I should change my tie. Anybody been there? Yeah, we've been there. So what I want to get you guys to do is that we know that we are somebody. I want you to focus on the positive. Focus on the positive. Your dream. Your dream. My dream, that's my dad too, played for the Detroit Lions and the Buffalo Bills. My dream, my dream, he did not want to crush. The belief in my dream at eight years old, my dad telling me that I could not crush me to where he would say, I would never say that again. You all have dreams. You all have dreams, like Dr. Martin Luther King. You are to follow his dream. His dream is for you. His dream is for you, that we can all be together as one, that we can all strive, that we can, matter the color of your skin and your race, you can be what you want to be is what he's telling you. So whether he believes in you, all your coordinators believe in you. The people before you believe in you, it won't matter unless what? You believe in yourself. You believe in yourself. Okay? Right. You believe in yourself. And you believe, we're going to try this one more time. 
the I am, somebody thing. Okay? Uh, you with me, man? <laughs> you with me, bro? All right, here we, here we go. Ready? And you know you got to be the loudest, right? All right, man, I'm counting on it. All right, here we go. Imagine how good that's going to feel when you do that. I'm here before you, brother. I'm telling you, you can do that. I'm telling you, I've been where you are. You can achieve that dream. You just have to believe it. Okay? And take it as a compliment. Anytime, anytime somebody talks about you. It's a compliment. Because you don't talk about nobody who's doing nothing. Am I correct? Don't nobody talk about you if you ain't doing nothing. Man, I can't, boy, man, I can't stand Mr. Hill. Man, he all, man, he think he all that. He think he all that in a bag of chips. Why do you say that? <coughs> and you know my response, and I'm going to give you guys a response. Tell you what I tell my son. You think you can sit down, okay? Thank you, brother. You all that in a bag of chips. Say, no, I don't think that. You <laughs> do. You know? <laughs> Come on, clap your hands if you want to. Come on, go. Give me an A, man. So, do you understand that? So, if you want to be successful, do that. You have my permission. You have your staff's permission to be successful. Don't be afraid of success. And when they say you think you all in the bag of chips, what you say? I am no. But you say I am. <laughs> but what I say, what I tell you, what I tell them to say, what I tell my son to say. No, I don't. You do. Right. And all you got, I'm telling you, each and every one of you guys, each and every one of you guys, right now, you guys have made a commitment, you know. I commend you. You have made a commitment to be excellent. There are steps you have to take. Everybody wants to be good. But everybody don't do what it takes to be good. Everybody wants to succeed. But everybody doesn't do what it takes to succeed. Do you understand what I'm saying there? Did I want to be the best in the NFL? Did I want to be the best 
that I'm going to make it to the National Football League. And I'm proud to say I was a starter in the National Football League. That means you're the best in the world. Right. Did I do what it takes to get there? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. It took hard work. You don't just wake up and go to the NFL. What would you say you want to be again? Well, tell me, sweetie. I want to be a veterinarian. Veterinarian. I got a dog for you that I <laughs> he need help too. <laughs> you, don't, you don't just wake up being a veterinarian. It takes work. You might as well be a doctor too. It, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's that much work. But you're willing to do it, right? <coughs> That's right. That's right. Could you take a step and write up on that board your dream? Could you please? That one right there. That board right there. Oh, you just waiting for? Uh, she said she, uh, he said he couldn't catch. <laughs> Can he catch? <laughs> so tell me what you think. What's your thoughts? As he write on the board. <laughs> what you gonna do about it? Now, who here is in the ninth grade? Who here is in the tenth? Eleven? Twelve? All you twelfth graders that are raising your hand, I expect to see you all in college, correct? Correct? Yes. And I expect you twelfth graders to guide your eleventh graders. Be leaders. You're all going to be leaders in here. Lead them to college. You 11th graders, 10th graders, I want you guys to lead them to college. 10th to the 9th, and so forth. Everybody in this program, make your commitment. Make your commitment to be here and to be somebody. <coughs> Can we do that? Yes. Are you committed? <coughs> So the next time I come back, I expect to see all your faces and probably somebody else, because you guys should share the information that you have in here. Don't just don't be stingy. Be like Dr. Martin Luther King. Have the dream for everybody. Okay? Share your dream with your friends. Tell them the good works you do. Grow your program. Don't keep it all to yourself, okay? Let's share. And as I close, I'm going to see how much y'all own this thing. We're going to write everybody's dream. We're going to have an opportunity to write on that board. Okay? We're going to write on that board. What's my name? Lonzel Hill. Okay, so now, that question I got early in the thing, who is Lonzel Hill? We shouldn't have that no more. All right? And, here we go. Here we go. Y'all know the routine. Thank you. 